Hello there. I'm ready now. There is a coffee adjacent thing making its rounds on the internet right now. I don't know why I'm steepling my fingers like this, but it felt right. Anyways, that thing that is going viral right now is date seed coffee, which is not at all a new thing. This is a drink that has been around for a very, very long time and it has roots in many different Middle Eastern countries. But as the internet does, it has grabbed onto this drink and it has turned it viral with it having millions upon millions upon millions of views on TikTok right now. And when I thought about it, it makes total sense because what you're doing is you are taking the seed or the, the pit from the date, you are then cleaning cleaning it, you are roasting it, you are grinding it, and you are brewing it similarly to coffee. And in fact, coffee beans themselves are not actually beans, they are also seeds. And I mean, since we're going down this path, cocoa beans are not actually beans, they are also seeds from the plant that they come from. So date seeds, that makes sense. But how does it taste? I'd like to know because the people on the internet were not super descriptive, so I thought we would try it here today and I would describe to you what date seed coffee tastes like when you make it at home. I think this should be very fun, but to do it, we have a lot of work. <laughs> so I think we should just get started now. Okay, so the first and actually only thing we're gonna be needing for this recipe are dates with the pits in them. And do you have any idea how difficult it is to find dates with the pits still in them? Very difficult. Anyways, I did find some, so we are good to go. And also the thing you'll want to do right now, if you are perhaps following along is preheat your oven. And as many of you have pointed out, I do know that these are one minute off. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> so if you perhaps know how to fix that, please let me know, I am begging you. That being said, 400 degrees Fahrenheit is what you'll want to set your oven to. So while that happens back there, I think it is time to get started with pitting and cleaning our date seeds which is gonna take a little bit of time. So while I get started on this, I do wanna give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video. Have you ever tried to run out the door before work? But hey, guess what? Someone forgot to brew the coffee and that someone was definitely you. I know I have and it's why I'm so thankful to the sponsor of today's video, Verb Energy. Now, Verb's energy bars are great. First of all, they're super tasty with a wide variety of flavors, including my all-time favorite, vanilla latte, peppermint mocha, double chocolate, and many, many more. Second, each bar is gluten-free, vegan, and with the help of organic green tea, has 65 milligrams of caffeine, which is comparable to an espresso, but without the crash you might experience. And furthermore, their packaging is really quite pleasing to the eye and the perfect size to fit anywhere from my bag to my key box. So I never forget to take them as a snack when I'm zipping around on my busy schedule. And right now, Verb has a fantastic free trial pack where you can try their top four flavors for just the cost of shipping, which is less than a dollar. So if you want to find your favorite Verb bar, click the link in my description for a trial pack at just 95 cents for shipping. And thank you again to Verb Energy for sponsoring today's video. The nice thing about doing this recipe is at the end of it, you have many pitted dates. So for any of your recipes or smoothies or potentially alternative milks that you're making with a natural sweetener, you can use dates. Now I'm gonna continue to call this date seed coffee. I know it's not exactly coffee because we are, we are obviously not using coffee beans, but this is a drink that is brewed in the same format. So I think that's all right. This is pretty frequently kind of lorded as a, as a coffee alternative and or a substitute. Let's say if you're trying to kick caffeine, but you're looking for something with similar-ish flavor, that's what this is recommended for. So I'm very curious to see how it matches up to, to regular coffee. At the very least, this is relaxing. I will say, I think the problem with this recipe perhaps is you are left with quite a few dates. Like I, I only have this many date seeds so far, and yet I have this pile of dates that I inevitably will have to use for something if I want to avoid just like massive amounts of waste. Is this de-pitting something or is it unpitting something? No, I'm just pitting it, right? Now I'm gonna be using the pits from this entire bag of dates, which is a lot. I think this bag of dates cost me around $15. That is that is quite an expensive cup of, of drink, but science. We have our bowl of pits. The next thing we have to do is make sure these are entirely clean and then dried before we stick them in the oven. I'm just doing this process with a little bit of water on a paper towel. All right, it is time to weigh these bad boys and find out how many grams we have and if it will be enough for a solid pour over. All right, this is almost exactly 35 grams of date pits, which is perfect. I need about 20 to 22 grams when this is all roasted, so we're good to go. Let's get this on a baking sheet. We are preheated, ladies and gentlemen. For this, I will be using parchment paper. Now to simply disperse and 
spread out our date seeds. Now, the, the roasting process is very, very vague because there is no set rules on when you necessarily take this out of the oven. From what I can tell, the recommended times are between 30 to 45 minutes, depending on your temperature. We are at kind of the higher end of the recommended temperatures at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna put these in for 30 minutes and then we're gonna come back and check them and just kind of eyeball them. I'm just gonna kind of use my, my vague knowledge of coffee roasting to decide when these should come out. So I'm gonna go stick these in the oven. I will see you in 30 minutes. finished product. Now these did go for the full 30 minutes. However, about 15 to 20 minutes in, I did give them, you know, a good shuffle just so we would kind of evenly roast all sides of the date pits, at least as well as we can in the oven. Now these darkened quite a bit, which I'm very pleased with. They're a lot more brittle now. And in fact, I would say there might be a little bit of charring, a little bit of like over roasting on a couple of these, but for the most part, I'm really happy with how they turned out. They did, however, lose some weight in the roasting process. We are now down to 28 grams, so even less than before, but still enough to brew a cup of coffee. So let me weigh out about 21 grams is what I'm gonna do as I would with a regular pour over. I'm gonna get some water going and I think we're just gonna grind these up. I will also mention that these smell amazing. The entire time these were roasting, it smelled just like an overall baking project was happening. It didn't necessarily smell like dates, but it was just sweet and roasty and it was it was a wonderful smell. So we're already, I think, on the right track. Now, uh, I'm not especially fond of the idea of putting <laughs> date seeds through my regular grinder. So we are in fact going to use a hand grinder just for cleanliness and the sake of my sanity when cleaning my grinder. <laughs> for anyone curious, I do have a coffee bean right here along with our roasted date seed. And while there is a lot more color variation on all of our date seeds in general, they are not dissimilar in color, which I think is a good thing to start out with. We have our 20 grams of coffee. Let's get grinding. Actually, you know what, scratch that. We are having an interesting problem that I didn't exactly foresee happening, but makes a lot of sense. My hand grinder and the burrs inside are having a really hard time grabbing the pits because of how large they are compared to the small coffee beans that would like fit in and then immediately get ground up. So I'm gonna do the thing I do not like to do. I'm gonna get a blade grinder. We're gonna use that instead. We're gonna go just a little bit finer. At long last, we have 20 grams of ground up roasted date seeds. At last we can brew coffee. Smell wise, it smells really good. I, I wanna compare it to like almost gingerbread in the smell, which if that is the flavor, I'm gonna be very happy. It doesn't smell at all like I associate dates tasting though, which is kind of interesting. There is like, there is that deeper sweetness that comes through, but I don't know, gingerbread is the smell I'm getting. From this point on, we are treating this exactly as we would coffee. It is quite a bit lighter than coffee. It looks a little bit more tea-like than coffee-like. Interesting. Well, I suppose we should taste this. It smells really good. It, it smells more like tea than it does coffee, but uh, let's give it a taste. Oh, very interesting. There's a roastiness to it that is reminiscent of coffee, which is very nice. The flavor of it itself is light. It is naturally sweet. It really digs into that blend of like cinnamon nutmeg cloves, which were not added by the way. None of that was added. This is purely the just roasted date seeds. This is very delicious though. However, I would like to see it if we can get it a little bit stronger because from everything I've read online, we should be able to get this to a much darker color. And my guess is just the grind size had to do with why it is the way that it is. So we're gonna do this one more time. I am not gonna make you sit through all the rest of this process. So I'm gonna do it quickly and I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> I have once more returned with ground date seeds. So let's see if we can achieve a little better brew. Already just from the bloom, I think we're getting a better color than we did before. So bodes well. Good things happen when you try to fix previous mistakes. Now for this one, this coffee was ground pretty much exactly like if I was doing a traditional pour over with coffee. For this, I brewed with about 20 grams of our dry like date powder. And then the yield, the water I put in was about 300 grams. Color wise, we have improved significantly. I'm excited to see how this tastes. The flavor is better. The flavor is way better. There is 
a little bit more balance to like the roastiness and a little bit of the bitterness that comes out in it. Um, although it is still very sweet. It's like a deep, rich sweetness, kind of like I would associate with, I mean, dates, that's what <laughs> this seed is from. And a lot of that is still kind of like embedded in the flavor of the drink. It's still very like Christmas spicy. I would give it like notes of cinnamon. There's kind of a little bit of like a cardamom to it. Not necessarily like a savory cardamom, but there is a little bit of like a spiciness that doesn't inherently remind me of sweet things. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I don't know if I would give this a full vote towards being a coffee substitute. I think it tastes like a really strong, like spiced tea, which is very nice. But if you were trying to treat this as a coffee substitute, uh, it might take a little bit of like weaning to get to this. I don't think it would be like an immediate jump and you'd be satisfied. Date seed coffee, surprisingly delicious and shockingly labor intensive. <laughs> the other thing I will mention once more is that this is a very, very expensive cup of coffee. Um, the dates I purchased were about $15 for that entire bag. And I used the entire bag to get the amount of pits I needed uh, for pretty much just one cup. So it is a that $15 drink right here. So unless you have a, a pit supplier or a place that you can source pits a little bit more like economically, perhaps this isn't for you, but if you have those resources, then perhaps this is. It's a fun experiment. I'm glad I know what it tastes like now. And if I am ever in the situation where I have a surplus of unpitted dates again, I think I will be definitely making this. It's a lot of fun. And if you have the means to try it yourself, I highly recommend you too. It's really interesting trying drinks like this that are, you know, similar to something you might already know, but slightly different, which is what this is. Anywho, I think I'm going to go finish the rest of this and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. As usual, I am Morgan Drinks Coffee on all platforms that I'm active on. I post on YouTube once a week, plus some shorts. I'm on Instagram and TikTok almost every single day. And yeah, there are lots of links down in the description. If you would like to see any other things, plus like surprises and fun stuff that's coming up, it's all in the description down below. So I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you next time. <laughs>